don't you love it when you're really thirsty and then you get your hands on a drink? Oh, we've been looking at things Jesus said on the cross. And today we're looking at the moment where Jesus says, I thirst in John 19 verses 28 and 29. So let's just take a moment and read that, shall we? Jesus, knowing that all things had already been accomplished to fulfill the scripture, said, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the sour wine upon a branch of hyssop and brought it up to his mouth. Jesus is God become man. And at this point, he knows things are coming to an end. I wonder if in your life you've had those moments where you say, I'm thirsty. Maybe it's financial difficulty, maybe it's addiction, maybe it's joblessness. I don't know what it is, but we've all had those moments, haven't we? Jesus was a man in need. He needed a drink. He'd been beaten, abused, left on a cross in the Middle Eastern sun. And then the soldiers offer him sour wine, which actually is an insult. It's almost them trying to show their power. Jesus knows what it's like to thirst. He knew disappointment. He knew rejection. He knew hardships. He knew abandonment. He knew loneliness. Hebrews 4 verses 15 and 16 says that Jesus, our high priest, understands our weaknesses. He faced many temptations yet did not sin. So let us therefore approach the throne of grace with confidence where we'll receive mercy at our point of need. Jesus understands that life often makes us thirst. And I want to introduce you to a friend of mine called John who understands what it means to thirst. God's helped me through many stressful times from the death of a very good friend in Afghanistan and the death of my young nephew who was born stillborn to extreme bouts of jealousy where I thought it was going to ruin my family, ruin my relationships, ruin everything. And God's been there through all of it. He's helped me through times even when I wasn't aware that he was there, times when I'd been in jail, when I'd been in Iraq. He's always been there for me. So there is hope. Jesus is the one who not only walks alongside us in those moments of thirst, but he's the only one who really can quench that thirst. In John 4, the Samaritan woman, Jesus says to her, look, I've got living water that you can experience that will overflow from within you. And Jesus offers that to us today. So I encourage you, whatever life is like for you, remember that Jesus, our high priest, walks alongside us. And he is the one who quenches our thirst. So come to him.